I've, I've learned so much. Just stay true to yourself and, and you know, don't let, don't take it all so personal because so much of it is not, but it feels like it, but. Hey everyone, it's your favorite Gossip Girl back with some juicy news. Reaching the Queen Bee's level of fame does come with its fair share of controversies. Beyonce has been known to throw some major shade on her opponents on stage, but reports are now surfacing that suggest that Queen Bee isn't an absolute tree off stage either. Ashley Everett, who was considered the closest person to Beyonce, is also exposing the pop star for treating people badly and allegedly being part of a secret society. Make sure to stay with us to find out what Ashley Everett said about Beyonce. It's been a journey. Woo! Hold on, guys. I worked hard for it, you know? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm a, I'm a woman now. I am. Queen Bee is one of the most composed and sweet pop stars in the world, but now some of her fellows are speaking up against her and saying that she allegedly puts on a show for the world and is faking everything because she's an entirely different person from the inside. Beyonce has been known to have the best dancing team in the world, and that's why her fans know every single one of her background dancers. And since Beyonce was promoting her Renaissance tour by going to different countries, one thing was missing and eagle-eyed fans were quick to point it out. This time, Ashley Everett was nowhere to be found during the performances, and she's kind of a big deal on live performances, so the fans were curious to know what happened. The matter also raised a lot of eyebrows because Beyonce has been very close to Ashley, and she's her absolute favorite backup dancer. Ashley has also struggled a lot to get to the stage where she could dance with Beyonce, as hailing from a small household in California, it was all just a dream for her. Then she moved to NYC and decided to pursue dancing as a profession. She even dropped out of school to give more time to her dancing, and that's when she bumped into Queen Bee and the two were inseparable ever since. Ashley was still a teenager when Beyonce promoted her from just a background dancer to a dance captain because of her talent, and Ashley has been an apple of every fan's eye. 2009, another tour, and we're looking for dancers, and she's hiring all new dancers, and I'm the only one who's returning. And so that's where I technically got my bump up to the dance captain because I was the only one who knew some of the crazy in love choreography and the baby boy and, you know, the older choreography. Ashley even stood next to Beyonce for the biggest performance of her career in the Super Bowl, where millions, if not billions, of people were watching them live. But fans got confused when Beyonce was on her tour and Ashley posted a video of herself getting ready for what seemed to be a commercial. Everyone wondered why Ashley isn't on the tour with Beyonce, and Ashley knew the fans would have a lot of questions and won't be happy with her not being with Beyonce. It's probably why she laughs in a very awkward way at the beginning of her video. People started commenting on her video and asking why she isn't at the rehearsals and how she could miss such an iconic tour that could help her career skyrocket. But Ashley decided to remain silent and not reveal anything about her leaving Beyonce and her experience with Queen Bee. This video of Ashley was just a heads up for her fans that she won't be with Beyonce on her tour, so they shouldn't look for her either. It surely was quite a shocker because Ashley has been a lead dancer for Beyonce for more than a decade, and her suddenly leaving Queen Bee isn't clearing the air at all. In fact, the fans are getting even more suspicious of what exactly went down behind the scenes. And that's not even it. Reports are that this is going to be the last world tour of Queen Bee, so it doesn't make any sense that Ashley is missing out on the most hyped up event of her career. But some internet users are now spilling the tea and revealing their experience with Beyonce and her dancers. One user reportedly said that they were a huge Queen Bee enthusiast until they had a chance to finally meet her. It was the most horrible experience for them, as Beyonce and her dancers were all allegedly very rude and they ignored the fans. So apparently the dancers are really rude, so it would obviously develop a toxic work environment and it's probably why Ashley allegedly left the group. Not only this, but Beyonce gets on rehearsals at 7 a.m. and they continue to dance until late at night, so it's surely a really hectic job. How many hours do you guys have to put in when it comes to practicing for the stuff that you do, whether it's the videos for a tour like this? How do you prepare and get yourself ready for that? We rehearsed for about a month and a half before we went on this tour and the hours like it, we don't have a right. time limit so, so it is so it's it just be. like on dancing with the stars where they say they're dancing all the day all yeah. day long that's yeah. what you guys do that's yeah. the reality of it wow. <laughs> beyonce has said it multiple times that she's a perfectionist and she doesn't get satisfied until everything is on point so some users are pointing out that the reason why ashley left beyonce is because she was really tired and that she didn't want to be controlled anymore 
Some of the people have also said that Ashley isn't coming back, probably because Beyonce wants a whole new lineup of dancers for her final Renaissance tour, as she wants it to be nothing like her previous tours and wants to make history this time around. But these reasons weren't enough for the fans of Beyonce, as they continue to find reasons why Beyonce and Ashley won't be seen together anymore. It's also being speculated that Beyonce allegedly wanted all her dancers to audition for the Renaissance tour, but Ashley, being the lead dancer for years, felt entitled for a position and she left the dancing crew because of her reputation. But that actually seems pretty unlikely. Some reports also revealed that after Ashley was promoted to Captain Dancer, Beyonce was paying for everything from Ashley's bills to her mortgage, so it seems fair that Beyonce wanted the best from her. And it's not new that Queen Bee takes trials from all her dancers before any new tour or performance, and that's how she stays on top of her game. A lot of people are calling Ashley a diva for not being with Beyonce for the final tour. But people on the internet are pointing out that Ashley shouldn't have to do something that's not good for her mental health, and considering how people have previously complained about the toxic and rude attitude of Beyonce's dancers, it was only fair that Ashley leaves Beyonce. But Beehive is in detective mode now, and they've dug some dirt on Ashley as the dancer allegedly has thrown some serious shade on Beyonce. Ashley has reportedly liked a comment on social media that called Beyonce an overrated performer. And this is not the only shady comment Ashley liked. In fact, she liked a couple of them that were calling out Beyonce, and that tells us a lot about what's going on behind the scenes. The most shady and absurd thing is that Ashley also liked the post that called Beyonce a pawn of the devil, and even had a link to an article where the lines of Beyonce's music are being called demonic and unholy. After this, some of the fans are saying that Beyonce allegedly is involved in demonic activities, and as soon as Ashley came to know about it, she left the singer. And Ashley liking this post was her hint to us about the alleged reality of Queen Bee. And this isn't the first that Beyonce is being accused of something this shady and problematic. Beyonce's name was dragged through the mud by her ex-drummer Kimberly Thompson, too. Kimberly revealed that Beyonce isn't the person she pretends to be, as she's very involved in black magic and things related to witchcraft. And guess what? Kimberly Thompson stayed with Beyonce for more than seven years before finally deciding to move on. Kimberly even reportedly revealed that Beyonce was trying to control every aspect of the drummer's life by tapping her phone and even keeping an eye on her finances. It was as if Kimberly was stuck in a prison she can't even run from. Kimberly even revealed in an interview that she had to get an approval from Beyonce even if she wanted to change her hairstyle, so Queen Bee was practically controlling every aspect of her life, and that's allegedly what she does with everyone who works for her. What, um, could you just explain to me what, what prompted that and why, you know, why you believe this sort of negative energy was coming from Beyonce and just, just talk about that a little bit so we could understand that. I regret that we ever worked together because it's turned my life completely upside down. Um, she's not been able to let me go. She's not been able to let me progress um, into a mature woman and work with other people. Build After all, Beyonce has some pretty dark secrets that she has to protect. People are now saying that the same probably happened to Ashley, and she went through the same situation as Kimberly did, and that's probably why she decided to leave Beyonce. Although Ashley is yet to openly talk about the matter and reveal why she's not a part of the Renaissance tour, her liking all sorts of shady posts about Beyonce is sending all the hints we need. Fans are also happy that Ashley decided to make herself a priority and not cave to the pressure of having a successful career with Beyonce. Ashley has so much potential that she'll make it to the top even without Queen Bee and without being controlled by someone else. So, do you think Beyonce actually treats her dancers and crew in a bad way? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay on top of celebrity gossip. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.